Welcome back, you guys. I'm so glad you're joining us today. We have a really exciting story to tell. But before we jump into the big God story, let's pray. Father, thank you for gathering us together today and thank you for your word. Would you open our hearts to see all the ways that you love and care for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now we have our memory verse, remember, from last week, and it comes from Psalm 20, verse 7, and it says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And we're going to sing all about it. trust in chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah some trust in chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah
Wow, you guys, that was so fun. I love that God gave us a voice that we can use to worship Him. Now, let's get into that story. Stories of the Bible. Jehoshaphat. This is Jehoshaphat. Oh, hello. Who was one of the kings of Judah. He was a good king. Yeah. Who strengthened Judah. Hey, go to bed. And he did what was right in God's eyes. He obeyed God's commandments and God was with him. There were other countries around Judah who wanted to wage war on Judah though. Huh. And one day messengers came to Jehoshaphat. Hey, hey, Jehoshaphat! And said that the armies of three kingdoms were marching towards Judah. Oh no! Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged God for guidance. told everyone in Judah to start fasting. People from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek God's help. Jehoshaphat stood before all the people and prayed to God. He asked for God's help, saying, O oh Lord, God of our ancestors, you are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. He told God of the things that God had done for Israel before, and he asked him to stop the armies that were coming for them. He said, We are powerless against this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. All of the men of Judah stood before God with their wives and children. The Spirit of God came upon one of the men who was standing there, and he said, Listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid, for the battle is not yours, but God's. He told them that tomorrow they would march out against the armies, but they would not need to fight, for God would be with them. Then King Jehoshaphat and all of the people of Israel worshipped God. The next morning, the army of Judah went out to battle. Bless it. Jehoshaphat said to them, Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead of the army, and they praised God as they led the army. At the very moment they started praising God, God mm. caused the armies of the other kingdoms to start fighting among themselves. So when the army of Judah came to overlook the battlefield, uh, wow. the enemy was defeated and not a single one of them had escaped. The army of Judah went and gathered the valuables from the valley and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. Wow. They praised and thanked God who had given them victory. Then they marched into Jerusalem praising God who had defeated the armies of their enemies and the kingdom of Judah was at peace. Whoa, you guys, the big God story is always amazing me. I mean, today I was reminded that God is victorious. Okay, well, that's all that we have planned for today. We'll be back here next week and I hope we'll see you then.